Hi everybody, welcome to Elementary Classical Mechanics, the subject where observing the universe suggests new mathematical and computational approaches that can literally transform our way of modeling and predicting any aspect of the world. Welcome back. In this lecture, I'm going to discuss the exercises at the end of chapter four. Okay, in problem one, I give you a vector field. And I ask you to compute the line integral from point zero 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 to one 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 along two different paths. So in the first one, I give you the parameterization. And in the second one, I just tell you what the endpoints are and say just, well, I've already told you what the endpoints are, just compute it along the straight line joining those points. So you need to do a little geometry about uh, what's the equation for a line in three dimensions with that has these two points at the endpoints. Okay. Problem two is just to give you a little bit of practice computing partial derivatives. Should be straightforward. Remember the answers are in the solutions manual, which you have uh, access to. Problem three, I give you a vector field. And I so say show that the line integral of this vector field between two points is independent of the path. Now you should know what that means. You've got two options. You could just, you could find the scalar valued function of x, y, z so that the gradient of that function is a. Okay, it's a good exercise. But the easiest way is just to do a straightforward calculation. Compute the curl of a. If that's zero, then you've answered the question. All right, in the last problem, I give you three different vector fields and I say compute the line integral of that vector field of each vector field along any path of your choice connecting these two points 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 all right that's a dead giveaway in some sense hopefully you see it like that um, because that would mean that the uh, the um, curl of each is zero. Okay, and you can verify that. And that means you can take any path and you're going to get the same answer. Um, but you could also find the scalar valued function whose gradient is the vector field. And that's an easy, much easier calculation than um, parameterizing a path and so on. You could do that. I said just do it for any path you want. You could take the easiest one. But uh, there is a scalar valued function whose gradient is the vector field, and it's pretty easy to find in these cases, I believe. And so then you just uh, evaluate the scalar valued function at the two endpoints and subtract them, and it's easy. Okay, so those are the exercises at the end of chapter four. In the next lecture, we're going to pick up with dynamics and talk about the motion of a particle in one dimension. So, see you next time. Bye.